I'm Jerry Hall with Grassland Oregon. I'm Don Bounty with Grassland Oregon. And today we're here to talk a little bit about some of the different cover crops that we sell. Don, why don't you tell them a little bit about this, what we're looking at in your hand. What we have here is our image nematode controlling radish. Uh, what you'll find with it is it's smaller in stature than the daikon type. The root system is completely different. The leaves are different onto this uh, radish. What I've got in my hand is our driller radish. It's a daikon type. You can see that it has a longer uh, root. Uh, that's characteristic of the daikons is you've got a pretty uh, solid single root. Whereas the nematode controlling typically have a branch root or a, a multi-type root. Uh, you've also got a little bit difference in uh, the flowers. This isn't always necessarily the case, but you can see in this case the image has got kind of a pink purplish tinge, whereas the daikons are pure white once again. The other thing Don talked about was the leaves. While the leaves from the surface look fairly similar, uh, the underside of the leaves is really where you notice the difference. The uh, daikon radishes, uh, the driller is smooth, so it's uh, not uh, uh, the livestock will go ahead and eat it. They're, they're not uh, apprehensive about eating it. Whereas the image has kind of a fine little uh, spikes it's kind of sharp yeah you can really feel the difference into that if you run your thumb or your finger up and down the vein of the on the back side of the leaf so something like this livestock are going to be less prone to eat uh, so we don't recommend the, the nematode controlling radishes for for grazing and really even with the daikons you need to be particular about the variety or the brand that you're buying do a little research if you're going to incorporate them from a livestock grazing standpoint here again onto the root system of, of the radish. They are a nitrogen scavenger plant. They are not a fixing plant. So if you look down in through here, you'll see a lot of the hair roots and, and uh, roots coming off of the plant, but you'll not find any type of nodulation down in through there off the roots. Now, one thing to be aware of when it comes to soybean cyst nematodes, you're gonna see a lot of variation between the varieties but the daikon types typically are hosts. You, you don't see any uh, resistance with daikons, and, uh, really any of the nematodes, but especially soybean cysts, they can host them. Whereas the, uh, the nematode controlling radishes, they've been bred to control specific nematodes. So in this case, the image radish is what's considered a class one, meaning that it'll control more than 90% of the nematodes from a sugar beet cyst nematode standpoint. 